All right, so I've got about a month, a little less than a month, to move everything, everything, from this studio space uh, down to the new one. And that's what I've committed to working on now for, I guess, the foreseeable few weeks. So the timing's pretty weird. You guys already know everything that's going on in the world, but I was told by the building that they've already committed this space to be moved into by a new tenant. So they're gonna move into this studio on May 1st. So right now it's April 6th as I record this. Now, I don't even know if that tenant, given the circumstances, actually plans to move in on May 1st, but that's, that's the paperwork that they've signed. So now the clock is ticking on me to actually move to our new space. That's the goalpost now that I've got to hit. Originally, I was planning on having maybe a few more weeks than that as we like furnish that space and get you know sound dampening material and, and actually set that up and get the, the window blinds and all that stuff in there uh, so that we could just have this smooth transition from shooting here to shooting there. But now we're just gonna have to just expedite all that. I guess luckily though, this new space is in the same building. So our move is a little bit less difficult. It's not like we're moving things into trucks driving and then unloading them or more moving them into an elevator. But yeah, now given my expedited timeline, this may be, this may very well be the last video shot primarily in this studio space. There may be some stuff still occasionally shot up here, but honestly, this may be the last of it. It's very possible. Um, so I figured I would give you guys a little bit of a behind the scenes look if that quarantine content helps keep you entertained of how exactly I am moving everything from here to down there. But here, I might as well show you my progress so far. This might not mean anything to you if you didn't remember what this looked like, but there you go. So this is, this is what Studio A looks like right now. It, it's obviously got stuff in it still, but it looks miles different, miles more empty than it did like the two weeks ago that I started this whole moving stuff downstairs process. So, you know, you might recognize some of the stuff behind me. I never really did like a traditional tour of the, the full space. I did a VR tour actually once and I'll link that below, but I'll also link Sam Sheffer's tour that he did here maybe a year or so ago, which is where this footage is from, and this is about as final as this studio space looked. So the number one thing you may notice now is a lot of the floor is gone. So you may or may not have ever known this depending on what videos you've watched, but the entire gray floor in this space is made up of interlocking one foot by one foot carpeted floor tiles. Great for sound dampening, great for lighting, great for video, definitely a pain in the ass to lay down thousands of them to fill up a studio space as big as this one. But yeah, that's what I've been doing, pulling these up one by one, row by row, bring them downstairs and reassembling them one by one, row by row, so that they sort of replace the floor that was in here down in that part of that new space. I'll show you that in a minute. But yeah, then there's just a lot of other stuff to move. Lights, C-stands, desks, couches, rugs, wardrobes, just a ton of furniture. There's just a lot of stuff to, to move down there. Now, knowing that, you might be wondering, Marquez, why don't you just hire some movers to help you just, just lift up all the stuff, move it down there, it would be super easy. Why don't you just do that? Good question. My answer is, like I know there are professional movers that are very, very good at what they do, but for some reason, for whatever reason, I don't really fully trust professional movers, no matter who they are, to correctly move a lot of this tech stuff, the TVs, the desk. Would you trust professional movers if you had a, a closet of, of red cameras and video gear? Would you just let them move it for you? I don't know. I feel like if I'm gonna do a lot of it myself, I might as well see how much of it I can do myself. Plus there's the whole social distancing stuff. Obviously you don't wanna have a whole bunch of people in the same space at once. This studio has been empty. I've been coming in here solo, as you know. And you know, there's some occasional construction still going on in the building because construction is essential, but yeah, I feel like I can just see how much I can get done. Yeah, so I've been moving all of this stuff bit by bit, very carefully. Let me show you how. So 
So I've had to get kind of creative with this stuff. I've measured every doorway I need to get through, and this next desk on wheels is actually kind of the perfect size to fit through every door between here and the new studio. So with furniture blanket and this desk, I've basically turned it into a dolly that's just excessively high off the ground. So I pick a piece of furniture to move, slide the makeshift dolly into place, lock the two locking wheels on each side of the next desk so it doesn't move. Then I slide the blanket towards the half of the desk that I'm about to put the furniture on since the furniture will slide it back onto the desk. Then I pick up one half of the furniture and put it on that covered half of the desk. Double check, make sure everything's still positioned well and not sliding. Then the precarious bit, pick up the other side of that piece of furniture and slide it onto the desk using the blanket to sort of guide it into place and make sure it's not overhanging too much over one side or the other. Then once it's all set, I can unlock both wheels on the impressively strong next desk and maybe wrap up the corners or the edges of the furniture if any of them are in danger of hitting a wall or a doorway, then start to roll that thing out of there. Now I have four main points of extreme caution. The doorway to the studio is the first one. Just have to make sure I slide it through without hitting the door or the column in the hallway outside of the door. Then the next one is the elevator, but luckily we have these massive 10 foot freight sized elevators in the building. So pretty much everything fits in them. I just gotta make sure the wheels of the next desk don't get caught while rolling into the elevator. Then once I get downstairs and out of the elevator, I gotta get through another temporary door thanks to the construction, but this one's a little bigger than the studio. So if I fit through the studio door, I can definitely fit through this temp door. And I have a tape measure, I've done my measuring, trust me. Then I can walk it down the hallway to the studio, the long, empty, somewhat ominous hallway, and then I get it to the studio, and then that is the one final door that I have to get it into to get whatever piece of furniture I've been moving fully through those pain points, and I'm in. So that's what we've been doing for, that's what I've been doing for all this, all this, all this, all this. Uh, yeah, it doesn't start an Apple Watch workout, but you know how sometimes it asks you, hey, do you want to start a workout? I feel like I should start like a strength workout or something. I'd say the most precarious piece of furniture to move so far has probably been the LG 88 inch TV that I did that dope tech video on. I think it weighs about 100, maybe 150 pounds with the stand it's on, but it's, it's a very balanced thing, obviously. You don't want it tipping over too much. But basically same process here, get the desk over here, lock the wheels, slide the blanket into place, reconsider the whole decision, move the table around a bit, put some styrofoam back there as a safety mechanism, like an anchor, reconsider everything again. Then just commit, you lift up the TV from one side on the side of the stand, place it on the locked desk, and then just really try to line up everything so it won't fall, so sliding the rest of it on is as easy as possible then carefully tiptoe around to the other side so you don't bump anything, and then get the other half of the TV up in the air and slide it onto the desk. This time, I forgot to account for how much the blanket would slide, but hey, at least I protected half of my makeshift dolly. Then I'm off to the hallways, trusting doorways, elevators, and this incredibly strong metal desk on wheels to not collapse and do its job, which it did. So, that's where that leaves us so far. Let me, uh, clearly not a lot of soundproofing material in here, but let me know if you'd be down to see more videos or more more of this, the, the moving into the space, the, the kitted out, how I add tech to the space. I could see it being future videos in between other tech stuff if you're down. Leave a thumbs up if you're interested in that. But uh, this is also probably a good time to mention, I don't recommend any of the furniture moving that I've shown in this video. Like I, there should be a little disclaimer, like I'm not responsible for if you try to move furniture this way. Don't try this at home, don't try this anywhere. Just a uh, little bit of a vlog for you. But yeah, clearly there's a lot happening. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already to see more updates as they happen. And uh, that's pretty much been it for this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you're staying safe, staying responsible. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.